Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, it's a well-known fact that working out is beneficial to both your mental and physical health. But working out also has beneficial um, benefit benefits to your the health of your skin, which I think is evident when it comes to looking at my skin. Now, when you work out, your body pumps more blood, which improves the circulation of oxygen and nutrients throughout your body, including your skin, and ultimately leads to that post-workout glow. Now, if you've been struggling to get back on the fit wagon, we have a few exercise tips that can keep you, you know, up and going whilst keeping your skin, more importantly, clean. If you do a lot of exercise, perspiration, chlorine and dust can wreak havoc on your skin. And sometimes washing with just plain water isn't good enough. So today, personal trainer Darren and I will be showing you some tips on how to keep your skin looking and feeling healthy before and after a workout. Darren, how important is cleansing and washing your face before and after a workout? Oh, it's very important to cleanse your face. Just making sure that you're opening your pores, keeping excess makeup out of that as well so it doesn't cause any acne. And after your workout, obviously, you've been perspiring a lot. So just clearing your pores from impurity. Darren, what do you have up your sleeve today? Basically, a full body workout that everybody can do at home and focusing on squats, lunges, and also shoulder taps. So let's start with some high knees, just to loosen up the legs, butt kicks. Okay. Just loosening up the hamstrings. The next one, body weight squats. So feet shoulder width apart. So we're gonna go down. So this will be focusing on your glutes, your quads, your hamstrings. Okay, let's change into your lunges with rotation. What exercises are good for your skin? So basically all types of exercises are good for your skin. Improves blood flow, opens your pores and elasticity as well. Let's go into shoulder taps. So we're going to go down onto our hands, plank position. And you're squeezing your glutes, so focusing more on your core. On a level of beginner, intermediate and difficult, where does this rank? Well, this should be intermediate and good for beginners as well. So then how yeah. does difficult look like? Well, you can go into the bare position, just bend your legs. Yeah. <laughs> ah, couldn't be me. Thank you so much, Darren, for helping me start my 2020 on a fit and healthy note. And this is my secret for keeping my skin clean and hydrated. <laughs>